Hey guys, so I have a few errands that I am going to be running today and I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. Um, I have to go pick up some books from the library. Um, my library is doing curbside pickup and so I thought I would show you what I got. And also I have a ton of books to drop off at little free libraries around town. And so I thought I would do a little bit of a little free library tour for you. So let's get this show on the road. Let's go back to the car. Okay, so I have my big bag of books from the library. I thought I would share with you guys what I ended up getting. I have books. You want a book too? Okay. Um, I have some stuff in here for my kids and some stuff for me. So the first thing I got is a book for my early reader. We're really liking these um, The Adventures of Otto by David Milgram books. They're really good for her for the beginning reader stage. You can look at that one. Um, so we got that one. Um, we have, let's see here, get that out of here. Warrior Cats still. My um, oldest daughter is on the final series, so I have the first couple of books in that series. Um, this is one that I just put on hold. I did a search for um, historical fiction written by black authors, and this one came up and it sounded really good. It's called The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. Um, I had never heard of this before, but apparently it's fairly well known and it sounded really, really good. So I went ahead and put that one on hold because it sounded like something that I would really like to read. We have another picture book. Sorry, I'm trying to take all these tags out of them. Um, we have The Seven Silly Eaters by Mary Ann Hoberman. This is one that comes highly recommended um, from Katie at Life Between Words. And so I've actually had that one on hold for a while and it finally came in. I have another of The Ordinary People Change the World by Brian Meltzer books, the new one. Um, I am Leonardo da Vinci. I love reading these books to my kids. They are picture books that are biographies of different people and they're just so, so, so well done. So I really like these and I try to read all of them um, as my library gets them. Um, all right, here is another Warrior Cats book. So this one is Lost Stars. Um, I'm not keeping up with that anymore, my daughter is. Um, another series that my older girls really like is Big Nate. Um, so we got Big Nate Game On. What, buddy? Oh, you're going to read your book? Okay. Oh. Ah, that one in here that's stuck. All right, and then this one. Sorry, that camera was like shaking everywhere. Um, this one I'm so excited about. So it is Kindred by Octavia Butler the graphic novel edition. So I've been wanting to read Kindred for a long time. A lot of people really, really love it and they've made it into a graphic novel and it looks so good. Once again, looking for historical fiction written by black authors. This was something that came up and I'm really excited because not only is it a black author, but I'm pretty sure that the um, illustrator and the adapter for it are both black as well. So um, I'm so, so, so excited to read that. That's it. That's all that was in the bag. So I have those to take home. Now we're gonna probably grab a bite to eat for lunch to hold little mister over for a bit and hit some little free libraries. All right, so let's see what we got in here. Oh, that's way too close. Okay, so let's see what we got in here. Not seeing a whole lot. It looks like there's some kids' books maybe down here. Like the witch in the wardrobe. Okay. Check that out. I'm 
might take that one home with me because I've been wanting to read that one. Okay, so I got that kind of reevaluated or uh, resituated, but I'm gonna leave four books. Um, so I have Ship of Dolls, The Land of Forgotten Girls, Zookeeper's Wife, and Raising Kids with Love and Limits. I have a lot of parenting books that I need to get rid of, so I figured this would be a good way to uh, go ahead and get rid of those. And then I'm going to take out of here The Story of Ferdinand the Bull. Oops, sorry. The Story of Ferdinand the Bull. And, oop, little fires everywhere. Um, this one's been really hard to get a hold of lately, and I've been wanting to read it. So, not a bad stop for stop number one. Let's see continue. Okay, so that one had people standing around, so I didn't really talk a whole lot, but you could see kind of what was in there. I ended up leaving like five books, and then I grabbed two. I grabbed, this is a library like discard of Emmy and the Incredible Shrinking Rat by Lynn Jonnell, and this is one that my kids read in school, and so I had been wanting to read it, and so it's free. It's not, I don't love library cast-offs, but when they're free, I'm not going to complain. And then they also had a paperback of A Thousand Splendid Sons. I have a hardback of this at home, but I would prefer to have the paperback. So I'm going to take this home and then I will take my hardback and put it in a, little, in a little free library the next time I go out. So that's what we've got so far. I'm going on to the next one. Okay, so that one was pretty full, but I didn't really see anything in it that I really wanted to take home with me, so I just ended up leaving three books there. Um, I'm finding that this is getting interesting because a lot of the little free libraries were turned into like mini food pantries during quarantine, and so a lot of them are, have been filled with food and just a couple of books, and so I've been trying to still leave a couple books here and there. Oh, he's sleeping. Um, but yeah, so I've been trying to leave a few books here and there and I haven't really been showing those because there's not much in them besides food um, or maybe one or two books. So I have one more that I wanna check out and then we'll head home. Okay, that last one was way more successful than I thought. Um, so I left two books, I grabbed four, which next time I go to that one, I will take more books because I have them. Um, but it was kind of a walk from the car, so I didn't know how many books I was gonna need, so I only took two. Um, but I went ahead and grabbed Barbara King Solver's The Bean Trees. Um, Barbara King Solver's an author that I really wanna read. Um, I have not read anything by her yet, so I grabbed that. I also grabbed The Trumpet Swan by E.B. White, which is just a classic that I don't own yet. I grabbed um, Cursed by Bruce 
Coville. This is one that has been on a bunch of like middle grade lists that I've seen. And then I grabbed one for my little one. It's Little Red Riding Hood Lift a Flap. It's the little critter version, which I love. And he loves Lift the Flap books, so I thought he would appreciate that. So that's going to wrap up my little free library tour. So not bad. I think I picked up four, eight books maybe, and I dropped off probably a good 20 um, while I was out, plus the library books that I picked up. So not a bad day. I will definitely be doing this again probably next month. I'll just keep doing it until I'm out of books. So anywho, I hope that you enjoyed this um, little expedition, if you will. And yeah, if you've read any of these books that I just hauled, I'd love to hear your opinions on them. And other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this and that you stick around and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.